Hail and well met everyone, Captain Deadeye is back with you with a brand new World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King character, our Dwarf Paladin. My favorite class in the game, my favorite race in the game, and we are ready to get started with Wrath Classic. I am in Minifil Harbor, I am on the boat, we are headed over to Howling Fjord and ready to start our adventure 2.0 i guess in northrend since i did play wrath uh, vanilla uh, but yeah i am so excited to get started oh, here we go uh we are ready to uh take on the lich king uh, head to northrend do some questing i like helling fjord so much better than uh borean tundra i call it boring tundra because to me it's very boring and it's gets old really quick uh, but howling fjord i haven't quested through that zone in a long long time so that's why i wanted to start there and i'm glad you guys are along for the ride i uh, i appreciate you guys clicking on the video thank you so much for joining us um uh, and uh, World of Warcraft Classic and Wrath of the Lich King Classic, uh, as well as Lord of the Rings Online, uh, Dragonflight coming soon. Uh, yeah, we got a lot to play and uh, a short amount of time to do it. So let's get started. Here we go. Love this entrance into Howling Fjord. I think this is absolutely fantastic uh, with the ice and everything and then the ship up here burning, uh, the penguins. Uh, just fantastic. Love the music here too. I'm going to turn it up. A little bit I think just for you guys let's see yeah look at that I remember the first time I saw this I was like wow that is freaking awesome so cool. And the fry cool, the, the Vikings that we have to fight here. Welcome to Northrend, guys. I hope you enjoy uh, joining me on this journey as we uh, we play through. Uh, Northrend again and, and questing here. Um, I remember doing this on my, my Dwarf Paladin uh, the first time I played um, vanilla um, and it was awesome. So I wanted to start here again. We'll bring my Night Elf Hunter up here soon and I'm also um, I want to decide on which Horde characters we're playing because I want to play through a few of those as well. Um, I'm debating on a Tauran Shaman. I also have that Tauran Death Knight we leveled um, through the starting area. Uh, we also have a Blood Elf Warlock that I think is level 13 that I'd like to bring up here as well. But we'll see. Uh, once we get to that point, we'll we'll decide that and get started. Um, all right, I'm going to turn the uh, music back down a little bit just so it doesn't bl uh, blare in our ears the whole time we're playing here. Do that. Uh, bring the desktop audio back down. There we go. And this time of morning, it doesn't surprise me that I'm the only one here. So uh, I did see a Night Elf Hunter just a few minutes ago get off the boat. So. Let's get started. Michael Roy. Four dragons got another thing coming if he thinks uh, the group of green skilled scrubs, green guild scrubs he sent to defend the port can hold up much longer. McElroy raises an eyebrow as he examines your equipment. You, however, might fare a bit better. The importance of holding this port cannot be stated enough, and with those monsters flying overhead, the situation around here has gone from bad to worse. Report to Vice Esmer Keller just northwest of here and tell him that you're all out of bubblegum. Okay, we're all out of bubblegum. Got it. Hell, it's frozen over. The dwarf speaks the truth. We cannot afford to lose this port. It's one of two safe harbors the Alliance has a chunk on the uh, has on this chunk of frozen hell. The other being a few hundred miles west of here, on the coast of Borean Tundra. 
If Valgard falls, the primary supply line to Northrim will cease to exist. From there, it'll only be a matter of time before we are all servants in the Lich King. Now, I don't know about you, but I've got a wife and three kids back in Elwyn, and I'll be damned if I don't go down without a fight. If I go down without a fight. The situation here is critical, and we can use all the manpower you're able to muster. Get to the front gate and help the guards defend the city against invading monsters. And Questy is screwed up again. We're going to have to fix that. Come on, click on it. Jeez, what is going on here? Sorry, guys. I probably need to update it again. I doubt it's been updated. Um, but for some reason, it won't even let me click it to, to expand it. That's weird. Huh, okay. Well, we have to kill 12, uh, 12 invaders here. So, let's get started. Been a while since I played Paladin, so bear with me as we uh, figure out what to do here. Forget we don't actually have to. Uh... The seals trip me up a bit. you got shooting at wow how did this guy get all the way back here jeez forgot how good how much how good seal of wisdom is I mean, it gives me four percent of my mana back which is really nice or two percent of my mana back. All right, excellent. If Valgard falls, you give the defenders the extra. You gave our defenders the extra support they needed, Gagron. Morale is higher now than ever higher than ever now thanks to you i think they'll be able to handle the remaining onslaught on their own i've got bigger plans for you we'd been here for a month when those malformed giants appeared out of thin air we were ill prepared for any sort of attack and paid dearly for our complacency an entire archaeology team was lost and several townsfolk were abducted and taken into the ruins taken to the ruins we've been on the defensive ever since to make matters worse the scouts have sent rescue to our sent to rescue our people have been harpooned by the varkul and left for dead the Vrykul, and left for dead in the forest directly north of Valgar. Dislodge these harpoons and free our scouts. Um, let's set our hearthstone here really quick before we do anything else. Do I have first aid? I do not. Okay. One thing I less Blizzard did with uh, boosted characters is that you could actually like, you know, I could come here and I could learn engineering instead of having to start at level one. I could actually start at like level 
300, which would be awesome. But, uh, yeah, we have to start at level 1, which is stupid. So, alright. But I'm not going to worry about crafting. I do want to do engineering, but I, I'm not going to worry about it. Got to turn that back on. Wrong one. Ah, damn it. Turned on. Put wrong one. Always have auto loot on. I think I get that quest later. Let's go ahead and turn this in. What the very cool did to our scouts is a gruesome display of savagery, savagery, and it was our scarce tactic went to making our resolve, to to send us running for fear, running in fear for our lives. It failed. We're going to show those monsters what it means to wage war against the alliance. All right, let's see. Two-handed does one ten. Yep, that does better than what I've got. Pretty typical. This battle is far from over, Gagron. If our people are still alive in the village inside that village someone has to go get them vice admiral keller nods at you head north enter worm village once there look for our people if they are in prison you may need to find a way to break them out maybe they'll have some information on what is actually what we're actually fighting the human league we were on the brink of an archaeological breakthrough when those monsters attacked sadly i was the only one to make it back to valgar whoops Now, I don't know if my crew is dead or alive, but the artifacts we uncovered in that dig must be found. If you're heading to Wormskill Village, you will, keep, will you keep an eye out for my team? If there are any hope of re recovering information, we must pursue it. Search for Polroy first. He was the last one I saw before I made my escape. While the Explorers League may discern a bits and pieces of the past through their archaeological findings, a Vice Admiral might be present through and might that uh, i might exact some knowledge of the present through our brute force the truth lies with the spirits the proper reagents i am able to see the spirit world if there is a past present and future of north Rin resides if you wish to learn more i will require a reagent pouch i was lost in a ship that is now at the bottom of dagger cat bay just east of here okay <coughs> Two weeks ago, our chief engineer got his hands on a very cool harpoon gun, the same type of gun that the very cool used to take down our ships. By studying that gun, he managed to put together a comprehensive operation manual. Fortunately, he was abducted and taken north of here to Wormskull Village. We eventually did find him, but near death and without the manual. His dying words indicated that the manual was lost in the Utgard Catacombs, located just northwest to the end of the skull of Wormskull. Get me that manual. All right, so we have to go into the water here and collect the book. I know there's fish in here we have to fight. And there's another quest down here as well, I think.
Well, where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm aware. Alright, recover supply crates. I'm not going to read that because we're going to drown if we do, so this thing takes forever. Oh, nice. We got a breathing apparatus. Haha. <laughs> cool. I actually forgot about that. Alright, so we need these supply crates. Hey, uh, what's up? Are you going? What are you doing down here? Me? Oh well, as you can see, I'm um, I'm trying to clean up this place. Orders from Keller himself. He says to me, Harry, I want you to punch out a put in a diving bell and search the wreck, uh, shipwrecks of Dagger Cap for our stuff. Maybe you could lend a hand while you're down there. Throughout the bay, there are all kinds of goodies, or I mean supplies. Go out and bring me back whatever you can find. Use this diving helm so you don't run out of air and die. All right, so we have 10 of these crates. I'd actually forgotten about the diving helm altogether. Do not remember that at all. Oh, well, that's weird. It's trying to connect to us, but it not doing it. Maybe I'm too far away from it. There we go. Fill me back up with the air. This one just respawned? I think it did. It's very quiet down here. I swear I just picked this one up. Okay, so that's ten of those. Oh. Thanks. Wow, you're so efficient. Well, just give me those crates. I need to do a doc. I need to document them and take inventory and other stuff that you have been, that you haven't been trained to deal with or understand. Don't worry. I'll be sure to let Keller know you did a great job down here. Yep, yep. Yay! You can leave now. Skedaddle. Okay. All right, we're trying the reagent pouch in, and then we're headed back up here to. Uh, Worm Skull Village. A bit worse for wear, but still functional. The Rallus reaches it in the pouch and removes some odd-looking roots. Now to place them in the fire and inhale. The Rallus throws the roots into a smoldering incense burner. The Rallus inhales deeply, his body begins to quiver. What, what? It cannot be. It cannot. 
The spirit world has fallen under the sway of the Lich King. Fearsome creatures made of pure nightmare now stand watch over the realm of the elements. I sense that the Valkyr are guarding a terrible secret. I am too old and weak to survive another journey. Uh, you must go in my place, Gagron. Take the incense burner to Wormskull Village and use it to enter the spirit world. Find a large dwelling in the northeast. Avoid the Veracool at all costs, lest they make you a permanent fixture in their world. Yeah, I remember doing this quest. I think it's under me. So I never knew that Hand of Reckoning actually does damage if they're not attacking you, which is really cool. I did not know that. Um, I just read that this week. I was like, huh. I think they changed that later. You found Polroy a bit too late, it seems. While looking over the corpse, you see a journal clenched tightly in Polroy's death grip. Upon examining the journal, you read what appears to be a scribbling of a dying dwarf. To whomever finds this journal, these bloodthirsty monsters have taken up residence in the ruins of Wormskull. What they, what they want or why they're here is, not, is a mystery. In any case, the artifacts are not safe for these beastmen around. With those beastmen around. Zed and I made a new discovery while hiding out. A cipher to decode the tablets. Unfortunately, Zed and I were separated late last night. He has a cipher. Tablets were uh, were in Glorfeld and Degron. Uh, location unknown. Find Zed. Pulroy. Alright. I have to remember how to do this. I think I have to go up here. Yeah. Secrets of Worm Skull Village. I think it's in here. Sweet. There's a way that exorcism will auto cast, and I can't remember how it does that. Or not auto cast, but it uh, it's a it's an instant attack. Otherwise, you have to cast it. I can't remember now. Come back here. <laughs> See, there it goes. How did I do that? Ouch! He hamstrung me. Key. I need another key. Ouch. Oh, there we go. Hmm. 
All right, I have to remember where to go here. It's It's been a while. Have to go over here, and then you have to go in the catacombs, I think, which are down there. You found Zed. No doctor or prognosis or Zed is most assuredly negative. It would look as though he is prepared to feed the wargs some gruesome. There is no sign of the cipher on Zed. After carefully searching the area, you discover some writing in the dirt. Galore and Day are inside the catacombs, have ciphers and tablets. Perhaps you should head into the catacombs located just north of here and search for Glorfeld and Dagon. Dagon. Uh, the bridge crossing the warg pit will lead you right into the tunnel leading to the catacombs. Search the uh, our catacombs for Glorfind. Uh, not here. Oh, it's up here. About bloody time, Paul Roy and Zed are dead, and Dagarn? Glorfeld shakes his head. Glorfeld shakes his head. Taken by the Dragon Flayer chieftain into the depths of the catacombs, I overheard that oversized mongrel mention something about a sacrifice to the Dread King. The cipher is hidden away by Dagarn's grim, grim, grimy beard. What dwarves hide things in their beard all the time? They're keeping Dagon locked up in a cage in a large fighting ring near the, from what I get, nearby from what I've gathered. The Dragon Flayers bring out the prisoners to battle against the most powerful gladiators. They dump the losers in the basement where Scourge Necromancers turn them into ghoulies. It's horrifying. But first things first, the tablets are strewn across the dungeon. Let's recover those before you're trying off to being a hero. Go off trying to be a hero. A hero, excuse me. Okay, so I gotta find the tablets first. And there's lots of people here, so it's going to be hard to grab these, I'm afraid. Let's go down this way first. Nope. How do I cast? do an insta-cast on that? I can't remember. Nope. Dang it. Yeah, let's not go down there. What the hell? Uh, gotta get used to all these abilities again. It's been way too long since I played this paladin back then.
You know what, I want to do this. I want to put this over here. I mean, I can almost kill him before I even get a concentration off. So there's really no point. Maybe if they're judged, maybe that's how I do it. I can't remember. Actually, no, I, I like this better. Go back over there. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Once you judge them, you can cast you can cast exorcism for free. Or not for free, but it's an insta cast. That's what I'm that's what I keep meaning to say. Yeah, that's what it is. I had to judge them first. All right, good to know. Nope, not that. Huh. Honestly, I, I, I don't know. It doesn't say anything about it on there. On there. So, okay. You've done well, mate. Now that you have secured the tablets, we can try to save Dagon's life and recover the cipher that will help us decode the meaning behind these ancient relics. I, I'll hold the tablets. You rescue Dagon. You might have already seen the room where Dagron's being held while you were gathering tablets. Though it's in the corridor, down a set of steps, Dagron will be in the room at the bottom of the steps, locked up tight. Get down there, find him, and at least you can be able to get the cipher for him. Okay. I don't know what it is. It's annoying me though. Maybe when they're below a certain l amount of life? I don't know. There's a health potion. May have to use that later. Yep, you found me. Whoopie doo. And no, I don't have the cipher. My beard was the first thing those beasts checks. Olaf is the one who's got that now, and he's the chieftain of the gladiators. Olaf will come when you defeat the other gladiators. That's about the way we're going to get the cipher back. Now, that's the only way we're going to get the cipher back. Put on your wampum boots and get busy in the ring of judgment. If you manage to get the cipher back, return to Glorfin at near the end of the catacombs. Me? Don't worry about me. We're on the brink of discovering a missing link to humankind. Okay. <laughs> Somebody just killed him. There it is. That's awesome. I don't get the XP, but that that's funny. So many people. Fascinating tale. Something's actually judging these things. To what end? To what? For what purpose? Well, never mind. That, that nonsense. Someone else can figure that stuff out. Figure out that stuff. We've got to get back the cipher and the tablets back. Only two fatality, fat, fatalities in the whole ordeal. Tis a shame we lost two of our best dwarves uncovering these relics. They sacrificed their lives to make sure the information is secure. Glorfin, Glorfin, Glorfeld, Glorenfeld wraps the cipher and tablets in a tattered cloth. Take these back to Valgar. Maxorf will know what to do with the fine. As for me, I'll be on my own. I've gotten this far in one piece. Okay, I thought I thought there was something we did. We actually had to go in like the, the basement of this place. 
I uh, can't remember. Oh, well, let's head back. Oh, I didn't realize the time, guys. I've actually got to get uh, going to work. Uh, I, I've got a few more minutes. We'll run back to uh, Valgard, then I'll head out. So there's a quest over here. Oh, see, I think it's below me. I thought there was another quest down there. We may have to go back in there, guys. I can't remember, to be completely honest. I think there's two quests in there. Ah, the harpoon manual's down there. Okay, yeah, we do have to go back in there. Damn. I thought there was something else we had to do down here. Wish I had um, Argent Steed from it's Argent Steed, Crusader, Crusader Steed. Wait. Anyways, the the, uh, the instant summon mount that I could run faster in retail that would be really nice. I think it's Crusader Steed that, for whatever reason. I don't know. Argent Steed sounds familiar. Sounds familiar too. I don't. Jeez. Ah, it's down this hall. I didn't go down this hall. Yeah, and here's the other quest. Okay, perfect. All right, so I have the manual. Ares gasps for Ares. He tries to speak. I'm an envoy of the Argent Crusade, charged with a sacred duty. Our forces were decimated in the plague lands. By the light of dawn, the artifact was cleansed and made pure once more. So many perished in the wake of its redemption. There is still chance, still time. The artifact was hurled in the den of, far fallen, den of the fallen far below us, guarded by a merciful dead. Ares' body glows with blinding light. Light will protect you. All right, let's go. This has, we have to be quick on this. We basically have to run down, grab it, and get out. Uh, before this shield um, drops. I don't know what this quest is. Fresh legs. At first I thought it may be down here, but now I don't think it is.
Damn, dude, Paladins are so powerful in, in Wrath. I mean, I just took those guys down hardly any time. Oh, wrong button. You feel compelled to place the sacred uh, sacred blade next to the body of Ares. By upon doing this, you're blinded by the light. Nah, I don't need that. Uh... 868, 64. Ares smiles. Glory to the light. You have done it. Ares calls. Take the artifact and return to Valgard. Lord Turlin Irulan Trueblade awaits its return. Fight with honor, friend. Always honor. You got it. I'm always honorous. All right, we're going to turn back. We're going to run back, turn this in, and then I've got to go to work. Lots of quests to turn in here. Many men and women died to recover this blade. Alas, I fear Valiant Ares will not be the last. But you do the light's work, hero. The sacred blade will be wielded by Lord Tyrion Fordring himself. Even now, the Argent Crusade works toward Ice Crown. Lord Fordring has vowed he will tear down the walls of that cursed place himself, and with the blade, he might just stand a chance against the Lich King. Lord Fordring remains our greatest hope. These soldiers you rescued had a good bit of information for us. These monsters are called themselves Vicruel. Vicruel. The tribe has taken up residence in Wormscub Village and is led by a mystic named Yanis, who himself is an underling of the Vicruel known as Ingvar the Plunderer. While we were able to gather very little information about as to the whereabouts of Ingvar, we do know that Yanis resides in a cave next to the warg pit inside Wormskull Village. Intelligence gathered from the rescued soldiers indicate that Yanis guards Dragon Flayers, guards Dragon Flayer battle plans. I need you to go back to Worm Skull, recover those plans, kill the Vrykul, any Vrykul to get in your way, including Yanis. Sorting these tablets out is going to take some time, but all I can gather, all I can gather from the precursory study is that whatever is used here, you, whatever used to be here, was an ancestor of the humans. Those Vrykul things probably killed them all off. Anyhow, we'll know more once I get the relic set up. It's a bunch of cryptic nonsense. Even though the cipher, I cannot make heads or tails of these tablets. Admittedly, cryptography is not my strong point. If you would take the cipher and tablets to our cryptographer, Stanwad, <laughs> Stanwad, uh, unfortunately, I haven't heard back from Stanwad in two weeks. He took a team of 20 scientists to the dig sites on the southeastern bluffs of the fjord and hasn't been heard from since. The best I can do is have McGover, McGoyver, give over, give you a lift in his flying machine. All right, so McGyver, basically. I didn't understand. The creatures that saw you look like Vrykul that, attack Valley, that are attacking Valigard. All I know is that the Vrykul indicates that, they're, that they only recently appeared in Northrin. Why then are we seeing Vrykul visions that date back 15,000 years? Surely the Vrykul had previously existed in Northrin, we would have known. You must press on to Niflvar. Niflvar. To get there, you must go northeast through the Wormskull village and take the path leading up to the dam. Up through the dam. Niflvar is on the bluffs of the fjord. Use this incense burden once you arrive in Niflvar and search the area for clues. Zorik flips through the manual. Hmm, interesting. According to the manual, the Vrykul have a special tool that allows them to control the harpoon guns with deadly accuracy. It only took a. It looks like a bit of a wheel on one of our ships. Furthermore, it's portable and seems to plug the plug into the harpoon guns like a key. We need to get our hands on one of those. Don't worry, Gagron. This is all you're going to need. Uh, this is all going to lead to something big, huge. You just need to have trust in me for now and do as I ask of you. We need to get the mechanism mentioned in the manual for the next step of the plan. I have a strong suspicion that you'll find one on one of, on one of those Vicruel that operate the harpoon guns in Wormskull Village. You'll need to. Uh, you'll find them on the east side of the village by the docks of the longhouses. Okay. Ugh, that was a lot of reading. All right, guys, um, we're over here to the end. We're going to hop off. I actually have to go to work. And, uh, yeah, we'll pick it up here next time. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, I'm enjoying my Dwarf Paladin again. Thank you so much. Um, 
I hope you guys are have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you next time.